This ship is a work in progress. All stats are subject to change. What you see now might not be the final product. LeFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking again. A dangerous pastime? I know. Actually, I've been thinking a lot about the Gascon, which obviously isn't Gaston, but similar enough, correct? Actually, I owe the ship one major apology, and I owe every single one of you all an apology as well. Especially if you watch my recent video on the Gascon. I, um, I was streaming, and I let emotions get the better of me. I had a couple bad rounds trying to use AP, and it really wasn't working out for me. And as a result, I switched to HE. I used HE only, and made the unfortunate assumption that this ship was basically carrying on the HE heavy mantra of the Royal Navy. That is not the case, though. This ship is not going to be only an HE flamer. I, I really think there are two different ways to play this ship. Two completely different ways, if you will. And I'm going to kind of cover the AP version of this ship now. I went back to the drawing boards. I played this ship using AP only and actually had some fairly decent success with it. I think it would have been rather unfair and unfortunate had I not done that and just stuck with my previous first impression, which again, you know, I, I kind of rushed it. I took that stream video and just slapped it up there for the world to see. And after, after giving it a little break, I decided to get back at it and give a more tempered approach, a more tempered look at this preview of the Gascon. So, please accept my apology. Gascon, please accept my apology. This is a more tempered, more level-headed approach to the Gascon. So we're going to delve into the stats a little bit. We're going to take a look at the AP and how the ship works with AP. So, with that little mea culpa out of the way, let's get down to the Gascon. This Tier 8 French battleship has 63,200 hit points. Its guns have a maximum range of 24.8 kilometers, and that maxes out right around 30 kilometers if you have a spotting aircraft in the sky. This is actually significant. You can reach pretty much the entire battlefield with this ship. Now, I don't know if you want to be firing out at 30 kilometers. I, I don't really think you want to with any ship, but this is a really interesting feature, and I'm wondering why this ship, above all other ships, has the range that it has. Guns are 380 millimeters with a 30-second reload, and the velocity of these shells, both HE and AP, are 830 meters per second. This sandwiches it right between the Roma at its 850 meters per second and the Bismarck at 820 meters per second. Compare this to the North Carolina that only has 700 meter per second velocity for its AP rounds. And this, this tells you that right now the Gascon is not bad in the velocity department. Its AP and HE fires pretty quick, high velocity, and the arcs on these guns are pretty good. And this helps it with its penetration. This helps its AP. Base fire chance on the Gascon is 36%. The ship, as I was running it, had 38% because I had Demo Expert on it. I pulled over a 19-point captain from another ship, and I just ran with the setup. The secondaries have decent range at 6.3 kilometers. It's not horrible, and I've actually been able to set a fair amount of fires in close-on brawls with this battleship. The anti-aircraft capability on the ship is actually not that bad either. I would say it's somewhat decent. Not bad at all. And it has a 12.6 kilometer concealment. While that's not the best concealment in its tier for battleships, it's also not the worst. And you can stay concealed if you absolutely want to. Top speed's 32-ish knots, and it can be pushed to about 34 with speed boost. Interesting thing about the speed boost, I originally said it was somewhat of a novelty. I have had limited success with the speed boost. It can help you avoid torpedoes, and it can help you power into turns a little more quick. But I, I still don't see the overall purpose of it. I mean, uh, adding the propulsion boost as a mod is probably going to do more for this ship, especially if you're a dead stop. The speed boost really doesn't help you in a dead stop situation. So I, I would like to see them maybe give the speed boost a little more oomph to it, Maybe just a slight tweak to it to make the top speed a little quicker when using it so you can power forward a little more even. 
I don't know, but right now it just seems a little too insignificant for my taste, that is. So on to the ship, after covering these statistics. This ship can be played two ways. It really can. You can play it as either an AP ship, or you can play it as an HE ship, and I've done that both ways now. And you're getting a look at the AP side of things right now. The problem with this ship overall, and I think this is going to be echoed by many individuals, is its accuracy. This ship has shotgun accuracy. If you look at the dispersion on it and where it lands on a stationary target, it looks like buckshot. It really does, and this hurts the ship significantly. The AP I have found when actually sitting down and using it and getting decent at it, it's, it's pretty effective. It's really effective, actually. This round that you're seeing here, I had very good success with it. I was citadeling Fusos from range. Granted, that's a lower tier battleship, but I was also citadeling Romas up close and personal. You can wreck other battleships within 10 kilometers. But the thing about this AP is, again, it's accuracy and the fact that you really can't overmatch any heavy cruisers with this. That puts this ship at a disadvantage. The shells are not large. They're only 380 millimeters. I think Bismarck's at 381 millimeters, which, you know, you're right in that same range as the Bismarck. North Carolina, on the other hand, we know has larger shells than this. And that's why the North Carolina can pack such a punch. And a lot of people have compared this ship or are trying to compare this ship to the North Carolina, at least as far as the AP is concerned, based on paper stats. And you can't do that. And for one thing, again, North Carolina velocity on its AP is only 700 meters per second. This has a lot faster shells. But this is going to lead me to another issue that this ship has that the North Carolina does not have. If the North Carolina is bow tanking, you have six barrels facing forward. Gascon does not have that. Gascon only has four barrels facing forward. You've got four in the front, four in the rear. So if you're bow tanking, you automatically lose two barrels that the North Carolina does not lose. And that makes it hard when you're using AP, especially with the dispersion on this ship. It makes it less accurate. And that's why HE is somewhat of a lucrative option for this ship, especially when you have a 36% base percentage chance of lighting fires. So if you find yourself in a situation where you are bow tanking, or you really don't want to go left or right because you've got other ships around and you're worried about exposing your broadsides, HE is actually a decent option. Yes, that's about the same fire percentage chance as the North Carolina. But again, you're going to have a hard time with a North Carolina bow tanking against you if you're in a Gascon, especially because of the overmatch issues that this ship has. Back to the accuracy, though, and I really want to talk about this because this is what's going to plague this ship, especially if you're using AP rounds. This round you're watching now, I did fairly decent with AP. I put out good damage. Of course, if I played this exact same round, firing the exact same targets in the exact same place, I could have wound up having an absolutely horrible round. And I have. That is how wild the dispersion can be on this ship, and how RNG dependent this is. And that's why it's very fortunate that there are two different ways to play this ship. One as an AP ship, the other way obviously as an HE ship. Another thing about the AP on this ship, there is a definite sweet spot for the AP. Due to that high velocity, it's very easy to overpin cruisers that are up close and personal to you, especially if they're within 10 kilometers. It's very, very easy for your AP to just pass right through them. It can actually be hard to citadel ships that are closer to you. Battleships, that's different because of that heavy armor that they have. And like you'll see later on in this round with the Roma that I absolutely decimate up close and personal. But there is a definite sweet spot. Fortunately, the AP against battleships is pretty decent at any range. Cruisers, not so much. So you got to be careful. You got to find that sweet spot. I'm going to say right now, if you have the skill, if you have the skill, you feel comfortable in your aiming and your ability to stay angled properly and everything else, AP will do you well. And you might not think twice about using HE. After this round, I'm inclined to use AP only and only HE if absolutely necessary. Again, in those situations where I'm up against the North Carolina that's bow tanking and I know I'm not going to be able to overmatch it. I might switch to HE and light it on fire because again, 36% base chance 
while you're not 100% guaranteed a fire, you've got a pretty decent chance of starting a fire, even if only four shells land on a ship. Now, however, if you view yourself as a less skilled player and you want to purchase Gascon because you've been waiting for it a long time, you like the history of this battleship, or you like French battleships in general, or what you see and what you think it has to offer, if you're less skilled and not as confident in your aim, then you can definitely run this ship as an HE only battleship. You can definitely do that. HE might give you more consistent outcomes actually. You might find your average damage with HE is even better than if you use AP only. However, however, I will say AP will give you much better outcomes if you can get it to work for you. So AP will probably give you higher damage rounds, but HE will be a lot more consistent for you. And you won't have to worry about the horrible dispersion as much because of that fire percentage chance and just setting fires on ships and getting that fire damage. Farming fire damage. You can make that work for you. However, you know, the AP on this ship is pretty good. It really is. The other thing you might not like about this battleship is the turret setup. You have two turrets, each with four barrels. That is actually a pretty big disadvantage for this ship. Again, when you have North Carolinas that have six guns forward that you're going to be facing a lot in Tier 8 or the Roma, you know, only having four barrels forward is going to be tough. So really, this promotes a game style that the Dunkirk kind of has in a way, where it's much easier to kite with this ship. You know, turn, run away from the enemy, angled, firing back at it, using your speed to keep distance while just pegging away at the other ships with your AP or your HE. Now, whether or not I like this game style, I, I don't know, but it works. It does work. This ship has the ability to kite and kite very effectively, especially with the range on its guns, especially with its speed, and especially with that speed boost. So just keep that in mind when you play this ship. One thing I also found about the Gascon is the armor I thought was pretty decent. I know other people that have played this ship have said other things, and maybe it's just because I've been lucky in my placement and the angling of my ship and haven't really let any other ships flank me, but I've found even when I have been caught in a situation where a ship should keep me honest and absolutely wreck me, I haven't been wrecked in the ways that I would be in a ship like the North Carolina. So there's that to keep in mind as well. Not that bad. So what do I think overall of the Gascon in this second look at her, in this apology tour that I'm making because my first look at her really was kind of unfair to her. I, I don't think the Gascon's a bad ship at all. And I don't think it's even a mediocre ship. I, I think it's a decent battleship. And I think a lot of people are gonna find some fun in this ship just in its speed and the different ways that you can play it. But I also think players might be a little upset by its accuracy. And again, it's got that just huge shotgun buckshot accuracy. And it might be a little too wild for players that are looking for a little better accuracy. Especially when you have ships like North Carolina in there, which is a fairly accurate ship with large guns, mind you. I mean, North Carolina's got some hard-hitting guns. The guns on this ship can hit hard as well. They've got high velocity, but again, they're kind of finicky, and the size of them doesn't help the ship that much overall. I think players will like this ship overall. I think a lot of you might like this ship. Whether or not this ship remains as it is, we don't know. Again, this is a work in progress. Sigma values might be tweaked. If they were tweaked just a little bit, just a little bit, this ship might actually go from being a decent ship and a fun ship to actually a fairly powerful ship so we'll have to keep an eye on it we'll have to see where wargaming goes with this but definitely keep this ship on your radar keep it on your radar because like i said there are two ways to play it he or ap both will serve you well that is if you can get it to work for you and if you can deal with the accuracy anyhow guys i hope this makes up for the first look that i did at this ship based upon my stream. Again, this was the Gascon, work in progress, coming sometime in the future. We don't know when. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I am out.